Barden Tower is a hunting lodge dating back to 1100. And it's a very interesting and curious place, and it's certainly I find it very st stimulating. Um, it was a kind of place of, uh, for being a recluse. It wasn't really a hunting lodge as such. And the Lord that built it, built it because he loved the place and he wanted somewhere that he could return to and retire to, away from the court of his time. I found this story very interesting. The other thing that's in the poem, though, here is um, I don't actually like being told what to do as a poet. I don't like being told really what to do as a person or even as a tourist. And all these paths that go through these woods, they kind of tell you what to do and where to walk. And there were these things called viewpoints, which I find intensely annoying because they say, stand still, this is a place to watch. Whereas in fact, what I prefer to do is go into the woods at my own angle and find my own place where I want to watch. So this poem kind of toys around with the two ideas of being slightly annoyed by being told what to do by my viewpoint here to Barton Tower, but also the kind of responses that nature sometimes gives in a person and how they might respond with a building sense like this or with a, with a symphony, say, like Sibelius. And so, actually, quite ironically, here's the poem at the viewpoint, Barden Tower. Barden Tower. I have heard a tourist claim this view as though she bought it at cost, an expensive mirror. Unseen and ornately, ivy throws its ropes across the leaf litter, shifting a forest's massive furniture. The mosses' robes veil the thrones of fallen oaks. Trees pulse with lichen light. Autumn smashes rainbows across the woodland floor. You may never have seen these trees more brilliantly than when you turned your eyes to that hunting lodge and sensed the light kindle a million leaf mirrors. In his woods near Lake Tussala, Jean Sibelius shaped symphonies from their silent speech. Furs bowed violins while the swans sailed, keening. Before his death, a solitary swan veered over and made him her own. I am close to you, who once shared this view. This is not my sky, my flight, my words. This is not a mirror. <laughs>